Hi, I'm Casey. Welcome to my channel. Today, I have been really needing to color my hair and I am doing just straight up lightener. That is the one I'm using is this Joko Blonde Lightning Powder on and off scalp. Um, it comes in a little foil packet. I basically never use the whole foil packet or I would have way more than I need um, because I'm just doing a few highlights, not like all over head kind of color. So I just, you know, fold it back over and put tape on it. Um, it looks like this in the bottom of my bowl. It's the purpley powdery stuff. Um, you add developer, peroxide developer. This one, I'm gonna use a 30. Um, I'm gonna mix them together. I don't really measure because I just go with what consistency I want the bleach to look like it is. And sometimes it starts thickening up on me as I use it and then I just add more developer. You don't want it so thin that it's going to bleed out onto the rest of your hair because anything that it touches is going to, you know, turn it blonde. <laughs> so if you're putting in just little highlights, you want it to be able to stay where it is. But also sometimes it can be, you know, so thick that it dries out too quickly. Okay, so um, this is what mine looks like at the moment. Actually, it's probably a little thinner than I usually like, but um, since I'm not quite ready for it, it'll thicken up as it stands as I talk to you. Okay, so I just get aluminum foil usually now. I used to, you know, buy them from pre-made strips or papers from a beauty supply store, but it's basically the same thing. This just takes more time to, you know, get out and take it out. I do about four inch strips. Um, sometimes you'll have areas that you don't need that wide of one, so then you can make some thinner. I already have a little pile of them now that I've already ripped out. Um, the basic place that I want them is just in my, um, it shows the most here in my part line. So I don't have to do everywhere and all over. And it's very hard for me to get to those areas if I am doing it myself anyway. So, and because I used to only do this, you know, every now and then, and then go to the salon, you know, once and then maybe I do it myself once and I go to the salon so they would, you know, be correcting it. It wasn't that big of a deal. Now it's been, you know, over a year that I've been doing it my own self. So, okay. These papers, you can part yourself off and do them in this direction. And then pick another parting and do another one and line them up, you know, this way so they're sticking out. That's a much easier way to do it. Um, however, then your highlights are going to look best looking at them from this downward angle at wherever your slice is. And because I don't really wear my hair, you know, like this, so that you'd see this kind of slice ever, it's harder to do, but it's going to be a better look for me if I do the slices this way so that you see the highlights going up and down through this way, because more often, you know, my hair would do something like this that you'd be able to see. Hopefully that made sense. And I really, because I get so gray up here in the front, I'm going to go super heavy here in the front and maybe even just do like a whole chunk. I used to do like a heavy blonde chunk there just so that I didn't have to worry about the grays coming through quite as much. And I'm really thinking I might just do that. So I think that's the background. Um, all right, let's part where I want it to be the most which is down this side. I'm gonna get this stuff out of my way. So I'll probably just go ahead and pin it back so that I'm not reaching out for it. And hopefully you'll be able to see me in this mirror when I'm turned this direction. For me, this is one of my more important chunks too because my hair is thin enough and it's got a little pallicky thing back there that after the first day, you know, if I sleep on it and roll around and try to go a second day, that area kind of like wants to split out. So the 
highlights in that section, I'm going to definitely want to put some in there. So bleach also swells the hair shaft, um, which is what does, you know, damage to it, but it also volumizes it. So um, somebody with really thin hair, if they are bleaching their hair, it will actually make their hair look thicker. It's just also so damaging that then if you're not taking care of it and conditioning it, using good shampoo and conditioner, that sort of thing, it will make it break off. But if you're taking good care of it, bleaching it actually swells it up and makes it look bigger, which is nice. And I forgot to say too, it's always good to wear like, you know, if you don't have a cape that you're putting on at least a button down shirt so that if you're just going to hop in the shower, it's easier to take off than pulling it off over your hair coloring. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay. So I am going to start with this piece, even though it's going to be one of the more awkward pieces because I can barely see it. I'm going to take a slice out of it and then I'm going to have to do it this way. I have a feeling this one's going to be hard to show you on, so I'll show you better when I get to one of the front ones. I'm just going to kind of do this one first. And then I'm going to go kind of to the front section so you can see it better. Okay, so this is the part that I actually think that I'll probably end up at the very end putting the bleach right on. I'm going to push it out of the way for now. Get over here with this stuff. Take this section. So they're not very wide sections, like um, fourth of an inch. Um, enough that, you know, you can still see through the hair that's up there. And then you're going to just take your rat tail comb and weave in and out of that section. Okay, so I weaved in and out of the section so that when I split my comb in half, there'll be hair in front and behind. The behind hair, we're just going to toss off to the side, the in front of hair. We're gonna take out and stretch out. I take the little piece of tin foil and put it right at the, the scalp line. Pull it down, nice and flat. Make sure none of that hair is gonna get into it. Got the bleach. It's easier for me sometimes to start you know, lower and then back up into it just so that I don't get um, too close to the scalp so that it feeds off the tinfoil. Now, I don't want to take it down further because this has already been lightened once and so I don't want to kill that hair any more than it already is. Then again, you just fold it up And if it's where I can't see, I'll fold it again so that, you know, I can actually see around it. Split out another section that is, you know, small enough that you can still see through it. Put the rest of it back so that it's out of the way. Get the section up. Divide in and out, bouncing through it. Split the two sections. Pull out the tin foil, push it up as far as I can onto the scalp. You want to hold this rather tight. Um, you know, I've got it real tight. <laughs> and again, I start about in the middle there. And then, because I can't see if I do it this way, I'm going to check. And then push up towards the scalp. And to me, it'd be much better to have it further away from the scalp than actually bleed out into the scalp in this area. You don't want a big old 
round spot of bleach on your scalp. If this section is too thick, it just won't penetrate into, you know, all of the hair. And then so you'll have sections of the hair where it didn't, where the bleach didn't penetrate that look more orange, if that makes sense. So you want to make sure that this lightener is well saturating, you know, everything. Sometimes you can actually kind of pick it up and make sure that it went through to the bottom side. And if it hasn't, fix it that way also. I'll do this middle section later off the camera. I'm going to show you like a few of these slices now. So again, you could just slice this way and it's a lot easier, but I'm going to slice this way just so I can show you. So you do it, you know, the same way. I've got my section now this way. You can still see through it. I'm going to bob up and down through this. If you watch yourself bob up and down, you can see easier, better, like that you've got more even looking sections than, you know, if I was just doing it in the camera there. That's kind of hard to tell. And then put it in there. And it doesn't matter if you go in front of it this way or in back of it this way, whichever way you can see better. And actually this time I feel like I can probably see better in this direction. Try not to let your tinfoil get wadded up. I feel like I did get a little too close right there so you can just take like a little you know wet washcloth or something and kind of hit that line because you don't want it to be there I realized too I should be speaking in the first person I don't want it to be there because I'm trying not to teach you guys what to do like you should do it I'm just showing you what I do and but I'm saying it wrong <laughs> Sometimes you guys are moving because my kitty is playing with the tripod. Okay, so basically, all I'm going to do is continue to do that exact same thing um, further back here and further back here, and it would be incredibly boring for you to just sit and watch it, so I'm going to do that and then come back to you. Okay, so um, I have this done and this done. I'm really only doing like this one probably on this side, but I am going to do this whole chunk here. Um, and... Yeah, I just, I want it to be as white as I can get it so that it will just blend in with those gray hairs that are, that are there. So I'm doing it straight, no weaving. I want the whole thing colored. Now, if I didn't know about myself that I am so gray, like so, so gray right there, this would never work because as soon as you had, you know, about three days of new growth, you'd have these little black spots <laughs> coming in through that. But because I don't have black spots, they're not white spots. This should be fine in there. So this is how I highlight my hair. 
Um, if I had wanted to put some low lights in, I would just simply have like every other or do two blonde and then one dark um, all through also. Um, it was just a darker color. And so now I am going to let this process probably around 30 minutes. Um, and you can just literally open the little foils up and look in there. So like this is what color it is right now and I'll want them to be basically white. Okay, um, I guess I'll check back in, bye. Okay, I'm ready to remove it. So I was gonna show you, that's about what it looks like under there. When it's ready to come off, I'm just going to hop in the shower and shampoo and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is my hair, not styled. In fact, it's still just a smidgen damp. Um, I've just let it be air drying. But I want you to see the color like this too and not styled out because I didn't have it styled out for you to see the color the first time. So anyway, you can kind of see the more highlights in there. And then this way too. And then you can see my bigger chunk of blonde up here in the front so that when my little grays come through, they maybe won't be quite so noticeable against it. Okay, and this is my hair styled. Um, I'm glad it's done. I never enjoy hair coloring day. <laughs> All right. Um, thanks for staying to the end of my video and I hope you guys have a real great day. Bye.